Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Justin. And last week we talked about the top five drivers of 2023. And today we're gonna to talk about the top five irons. So sit back, relax, and let's go through them. So just a disclaimer, these are my top five irons for 2023. And if it's different from your list, that is okay. Feel free to comment down below what your top five irons would be for this year. And also keep in mind that with drivers like last week, there's a lot more variation to sound and design and performance. But when it comes to irons, there's only so much that can happen when it comes to performance and like sound. Most irons are gonna sound the same. All right, in my number five spot, we are going to put Strixen. A lot of these that I'm going to be mentioning are probably going to be blades and cavity backs since that's typically what I like to play with. And Strixon ZX5 and ZX7 irons are no exception. They've got a really cool design, a lot going on on the back, but still not overdone too much. We're kind of at a point now where a lot of irons all tend to feel really soft, and these were no exception. They felt great, they look really nice, and I think they fit great in that number five spot. It's gonna be a pretty close race between everything on this list, but visually, I think that I would have to put it at number five out of the top irons of 2023. This list is so close between everyone, but for number four, I think I'm going to list Ping's G430 irons. Ping makes some really, really good irons, especially for all level of golfers. They are incredibly forgiving, and I highly recommend the majority of people go and test these out. Visually, I've never been that big on Ping's design language, but I can't deny that they make some really, really good irons, especially their blades. And for that reason, they are going at number four on my list. Number three is going to have to go to TaylorMade. They make some gorgeous looking irons. Their P7 MBs just look so good. You almost don't even want to hit them because you just, it's a work of art. I love the fact that they put a milled face on the front. I've always really liked having a milled face. I don't quite know how much that actually affects the performance of the iron, but I love it regardless. I think it looks fantastic. And not to mention that blades are far more forgiving then I think people realize that they are. So if you like the look of it, maybe give it a shot. It might not be as bad as you think. <sighs> These last two are tough. I think I have to give, <sighs> I'm gonna give second place to Cobra. I think they knocked it out of the park this year as far as the design of their irons and really keeping up with all of the other major players. I think a lot of times Cobra's irons definitely get overlooked and this year is no exception. Their muscle back looks so good. It, oh, it might have to be the number one best looking iron of 2023 for me personally. But as far as an entire lineup, I think they've really knocked it out of the park this year and they definitely deserve to be in that second place spot. Which leaves my number one pick for 2023, in my totally unbiased opinion, because I definitely don't play them or anything. I do, I do actually use these. Mizuno's JPX lineup. Now I'm focusing a little bit more on the Tour and Forged Iron, just because those are the two that I tend to look at when I'm making a decision. And technically the Hot Metal lineup came out in 2022, disqualified. So we're just gonna be talking about the Tour and the Forge. The Tours have kind of gone back to what the 919 Tour irons have done, so two generations ago, but they've added that copper underlay, making them incredibly soft, just like their Mizuno Pro line. And I know the saying is nothing feels like a Mizuno, and in this case, they're absolutely right. I tested out the JPX 923 Tour alongside the Mizuno Pro 221s, their bladed model, and I couldn't really tell a difference. 
I could feel a slight difference in just kind of where the weight was positioned through the swing. Other than that, feel on impact and sound really didn't feel any different to me and I didn't actually see any performance differences. But I'm going to give Mizuno the number one spot, not just because I play them, but because I actually do think that there's something to it. They look awesome and there is a soft sound to it as well. So if you've never hit a Mizuno iron before, do it. Go to a local golf shop, test out Mizuno irons, and tell me I'm wrong. That is gonna be my list of top five irons for 2023. If you haven't already checked out my top five drivers for 2023, I'll leave the link in the description for that video. And next week, we're gonna be covering the top five wedges and after that, top five putters. So stay tuned, subscribe for more, Leave a like if you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.